Hello, today's DIY project, I'm going to talk about how to change this uh, the big CNC laser drive into a pen printer head CNC plotter. This is a 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters frame. Right now it has a laser as a printer head. Question number one, can I use the same machine for both laser and also the servo? such as I can have a switch to switch from the laser uh, printer head to uh, a pen printer head. I did a lot of research on the internet and I find out that it's pretty much impossible. Maybe I, the way I did is wrong. Later I will explain how we change the gobble program so you will understand that might not be feasible because the algorithm is different. But again, that might be my limited view. It can be done in somehow, but that is my conclusion right now. So the solution I find out for this two-in-one plotter and also laser uh, engraver is just using two uh, CNC shield. The right side CNC shield is just for controlling the laser engraver. And also the left side, as you can see, this CNC shield is just for the pen plotter. So right now on the laser engraver, the garble version is 1.1F. Uh, so you don't have to do a lot of things. Basically, uh, the PWM is already enabled. You just load the standard 1.1F uh, download from the garble uh, GHUB website and you can run pretty much the laser engraver program. So now the question is how to modify the standard PWM enabled Garbo 1.1F program into a servo drive pen plotter. So this is a very cheap CNC shield that I purchased from the, the, the Amazon. So this original CNC shield come with X, Y, and Z uh, in my plotter because it is 50 by 50, the frame size is too big. So the X will be only driven by 1A4988, and the Y will be connected to of the server model, which is Y1 and Y2. As you can see, this is the Y1, and this is the, on another side, this is the Y2. So basically the spinning direction of the Y1 and Y2 are reversed. Because of the Y1 and Y2 are reversed, so you have to do a little bit uh, a soldering job to reconnect Y1 and Y2, just simply using Y uh, A4988, the chipset. This is how I did the wiring. The original Y, the four pins of the Y, so I reconnect into the circuit board, which I'm soldering. And uh, if you see this one has the same connection as the original Y, but because of the Y, another Y has to be reversed. So what I did is basically, if you see these two wires, which is A, A, B, B, and uh, I connect the B, B to the same side A, A, and this side B, B into that size A, A. By switching the direction of the two coil, the servo 1 and the servo 2, they basically spin uh, differently. The next is just to uh, disconnect the laser. The CNC shield board, when it comes with, when I purchased from, in fact, it's come with a laser part. As you can see, this is the laser head. And since I don't need this part, uh, what I did is Eventually, this one will be connected to your PWM, uh, connect to D, uh, the pin 11 here from uh, to the nano. So basically, the D11 just won't because I cut the pin down into the socket. So the D11 simply won't go to this uh, uh, CNC shield board. The next is just using, I using a pin just to connect a pin out. Ideally, I don't need this one because there's a 5 volt and also uh, the ground here I can connect to here. Um, but because of the, I just want a symmetry of the wires. I don't want it to go weird. And uh, I just resold the pin from the ground and also uh, the, the 5 volt and also D11. So this one will go to the signal ground and uh, also the, and the power lines. So eventually it will... Um, so that is my servo that get connected to uh, my uh, my pen print header. 
So the, now the hardware connection part is done. Now we need to go to the computer to change the garble uh, program in order to change from PWM to a uh, servo drive. I'm going to talk about the change I made for uh, the servo drive on the, uh, the garble program. And you can see this is standard 1.1F, which I downloaded with date code, with the date build code 2017, August the 1st. So this on um, this portion is modified version, and this on the right side is just the original version. This is just a diff compile tool, and you can see that uh, um, basically the changes I made is just configure.h, CPU map.h. Uh, dforce.h, uh, garbro.h, and also the most important part, the spindle control.c. So let's open them one by one to see uh, the changes I made. The first one is configure.h. As you can see the configure.h, I do not make too much changes. The most important one is just this uh, spindle PW minimum value. The original value on the right side is 5, so I changed to 20. And if you look at uh, the next one is the CPU map. The CPU map, I made it in, because in the CPU map.h, it defines the spindle PWM max value. So the max value original is two, uh, 255, so I changed to 38. And another Interesting change I made, it, in fact, as a port from some other guy in investigation, is this uh, spindle TCCRB init mask. The original is just a mask out from the CS22 register. And right now I changed this one to be uh, added up from the three CS22, CS21, and also CS20 uh, registers. That is for uh, CPU map.h, the two changes I made. Let's go to the D4, the third file, D4.h. The D4.h, the major change I did is there's a D4 spindle RPM max, which is 1000. Now I change back to uh, 255. The rest of them are irrelevant. Uh, basically in D4.h, just one change. In the garble.h, oh, I don't think I made uh, uh, the changes. This is just white space you can uh, ignore. Um, so basically right now there's only three files I touched. The last one, the fourth one I touched, which is the most important one, is the spindle control.c. Inside this control.c, there's a spindle control PWM value function. This valued function, um, Oh, well, I on the right side, as you can see, there's some defines of enable uh, piecewise linear spindle. Um, since I'm not using that, I totally remove that uh, if define. I think it's pretty uh, uh, confuse me. And uh, since I'm not using that piecewise spindle, linear spindle, so the rest of them, this chunk of code is just for uh, the regular. As you can see that, uh, the changes I made. So the changes, as you can see, I made it, is this spindle computer PWM value, he passing uh, RPM uh, parameters. So these parameters he will, at first he will redefine. And uh, I just totally remove this portion. I don't, basically I trust the RPM, which is passed in. And if you look at it here, the system spindle speed, if RPM, um, because he has some recalculation, this one. So he's define he's checking if RPM equals to zero, he will put everything down to a uh, speed into zero and back to off, which is uh, uh, might not be the one which we need here. So uh, when we off, so the system spindle speed should be uh, uh, setting RPM. So which is uh, uh, the default setting, uh, which is 255. And also PWM value should change to a 20, which is when you uh, turn on the M5 command. And again, as I said, this RPM value, I'm not recalculating. I'm trusting whatever passed in from this uh, uh, function as a parameters. So now basically this is uh, uh, for uh, this one. Another function I made is just for uh, setting 
as you can see, this is a spindle set state. So if you look at this set state, on a, on a standard one, he will put back to zero. But in my case, I will put back to the minimum value and also uh, set speed to uh, uh, using the spindle computer, that one with this minimum value to pass in to set the speed. Oh, so basically that is uh, the changes I made for uh, this spindle control.c. Okay, just for a uh, summarize, the changes I made just for three, uh, four files, config.h, cpu maps.h, uh, d4.h, and all most important is the spindle control.c. Next is the system is powered on. I already downloaded this, uh, my modified 1.1f uh, with a servo control into this uh, CNC shield board. So now the servo is with me right now. So I just open this uh, universal G code sender. First, I just connect this one with my. Uh, uh, as I can see, I'm just uh, do some testing driver right now. X and Y. So I just do the X, and uh, I just do uh, some testing of the Y. As you can see, it moves no problem. So next, it just load a, a test program to test if this uh, this drawbox is already been uh, compiled into G code. So let's see, visualize this one, and to see, uh, uh, you as you can see the uh, the blue lines is just M uh, M five, and also solid line should be M three uh, S one thousand. So let's go and download this one to see if this servo uh, work as expected. Let's go send first. So now it's engaged. You see now it's 90 degrees, it's on, up. You see now it's M5, now it's M3. As you can see the command here, maybe probably I just need to uh, to check this. As you can see, there's another command coming up. Now it's turning, M5, M3. So now everything works perfect. This is how uh, you did, uh, you can change the standard, the gobble program into uh from a pwm drive into a servo drive pen plotter all right that is the end of today's diy so next one i'm going to talk about how to make a printer head plotter the printer head itself by using this uh, uh, modified servo program so that way uh, my uh, CNC machine can be uh, a two-in-one with a laser engraver and also the pen printer um, plotter. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up or just leave your comments. Thank you.